Alright, so I'm back. What should I call this one? I'll call this, I'll call this one the... The Wooly... Box. I bet you thought I was going to say the Wooly Ocean, or maybe the Ocean Drain. But no, I think it'll be the Wooly Box. But so like I said, though, this is a very, very strong ship most of the time. Um, its biggest weakness is the fact that the Chain Laser is not a very good weapon. So, um, yeah, you start with some pretty bad weapons here. But having hacking and mind control is both pretty powerful. You don't really actually really have to worry about stuff that much. You can get bio kills quite a bit in Sector 1 and 2, um, because just hacking and mind control lets you do that. And um, you can usually actually find more weapons and actually just get use the um, chain laser with a lot of different things. The chain laser is a not great, but okay um, base to a lot of different weapon setups, though. I was going to actually hack to delay their weapons here. And then actually, once they have a guy break into there, I'll actually mind control whoever they have repairing it, which will be the NG then. So I can just actually kill them both in there while I just, uh, just take no damage from that. And I took damage from that because they hit me with the stuff. But anyway, now I can actually trap them both in the same room and just kind of laser them to death. Yeah, this ship just needs cloaking to win, so it's pretty easy to win most of the time. It'll take three more shots to kill these guys, but that's fine. I don't really mind that. If I get a fire in there, he'll just actually die from that shot, though. Well, scrapping an anti-combat drone. Nice. You also start with a slug repair gel to sell here, and now I have the anti drone also, so got about 47 scrap worth of stuff to sell. So if I hit the store, I can just actually get the shield up right away. I'm not going to do that, but um, I could. I didn't crawl in. So again, once I have the weapons down here, I just actually have to wait until um Hacken's back up, actually, in this case. Yeah, so I want to wait until Hacken's back up and actually just mind control the guys in there and just, uh, just shoot them once this guy actually gets down there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with meeting the sub goal. Um, all thanks to my very generous supporters, of course. If fire beam is not a war crime, is fire fire bomb a war crime? Yes. Uh, offer services not properly equipped. They think I can't get bio kills with my setup, but I can totally get bio kills with my setup here. It is a little less reliable than they actually want it to be, though. Yeah, bio beam wouldn't be because it's not a um, not anything that's actually um, counted. I don't think. Ah, crap! Missed. Crap! Weapons got hit too. Yeah, Firebomb, well, Firebomb is probably a chemical incendiary. Like, it's not whether it's actually explosive or not, it's whether it's actually a chemical incendiary. Whereas the Fire Beam is obviously an energy weapon, so it doesn't actually use chemicals for it.
Nice, got a fire in the shield room. That's a very big fire in the shield room. I was actually hoping they'd fight in there, but it just spread too fast. Good, the fire's inside the weapons room now. I wish I had my control up to actually deal with these guys in here, though. If I were to mind control him, where would he go? He'd probably go down to the, or he'd probably go over to the pilot room or the auction room. Now he goes nowhere. 21 scrap, another 15. Nice. Also, as I understand it, um, if the fire is not actually the primary purpose, it's not actually considered a war crime. Like, if you're not actually primarily intending to actually set a fire, it's not actually con considered a war crime. So, like, if you use tracer rounds on an enemy and they happen to actually get set on fires for it, by exa for example, um, that's not actually a war crime. Even though it's actually basically the same result. Why not mind control the pilot before the shot? Because I was actually trying to use the mind control to actually kill the crew. If I control the pilot, I can't actually pull the guys down and um, actually fight each other as well. They should actually bring the laser back up first here. Which is good for me because that's actually what I want them to have repaired. I'm gonna let the um, not mind controlled guy deal the mind controlled guy as much damage as possible before I start blasting. So he's a one hit kill now. Oops, can't afford power. Probably go one, two, three, four. Or I can actually probably take both nebula jumps. I think I should do that instead. No other quest to move on. I can lose group from that event. Well, scrap. That'll be fine. Go man the doors, so they can't actually break out of there so easily. Is there a weapon other than the firebomb that is a war crime? Um, honestly, probably not. It's kind of like how um, using like gas weapons was not actually a war crime in, in World War One, for example, though, just because um, technology hasn't actually caught up to the um, or, laws haven't really caught up to the technologies used, I guess I want to say. So, um, they probably would be made a war, made a war crime afterwards, but um, that won't actually be until after the fact. Alright, so I think I actually hacked the medbay this time. I can probably deal most of these guys in here. Yeah, Fire Beam, Bio Beam, um... Honestly, those would actually be the main ones, though. Auction Hacks, maybe. Now, the trouble is, they still have weapons up, and I don't actually have any offense here.
Yeah, killing people in the first place is kind of um, not generally accepted, but um, for whatever reason, it's counted as being different if it's actually in times of war. Like, at least if you're in battle. Okay, this is fine. Uh, you need to move. I don't really have enough power to deal with all the stuff they have up here. Well, he should die now. Okay, anyway. Why don't you just grab? Somewhat tricky kill there, though. Unfortunately, the missile is the one power weapon here, so I'll actually come back up first. It shouldn't make too much difference, though. By the time they have the repair to hacking, it'll be back up. Bills of Wings applies and nothing. Okay. One more power bar here, though. Um, so I got like 100. 153 scrap and the anti drone in the sector, so it's been pretty good. Yeah, good sector one. I do actually probably want to hit that store after another couple jumps here, though. Okay, surely. Okay, this one went down. That's good. Missing exactly one shot there was good. Man, they brought the wrong weapon down. Anyway, they should die now. Okay, 18 scrap. Go 1, 2, 3, 4. That should work. I'll actually buy 6 fuel because it's cheaper than the store. My shield system. I'm actually okay with that, though. No. I'll just counter remote hacking. They don't have shields here. If I use my hacking here, they can't actually hurt me at all, too. So, yeah, might as well just take this fight. Yeah, so Shirley showed up again, just hacked my shields down.
Surely can't dodge now though, so just will definitely die. So 17 scrap, um I'm still just saving my scrap for that store. I have over 100 scrap for it right now though. No scrimmage with slavers, and this is actually a guaranteed bio kill too. Nice. Once again, I can't take damage on this fight. This is actually a weapon setup that actually does have two shots. It actually can't hurt you with only one um, shield, though. As long as you don't actually touch them at all. They'll always fire at the same time. The laser will always hit you first, so it just can't do anything to you. I'm going to wait until I can actually mind control them both in the same room again. I guess I can just actually laser and draw the human up there. The human's almost dead. Yeah, human died. Alright, 21 scrap and nothing there. Double stores. Don't actually want double stores. I'm gonna take the stress peak and then just the lower store here, then the nebula jump, and actually out this way. And the crew to help. Ares is gone, but I have Clone Bay. Can't lose crew from that. No weapons here. I'm definitely selling the anti drone. Um, can't still hit the other store. I will sell the slug repair gel, buy free fuel, I think, and backup battery. Ends up twice and can't quite get the hacking up yet. Okay, they didn't bring a second weapon up, so this is fine. They should actually board me a second time this fight, too. I didn't kill the first guy. Okay, now the first guy's dead. Oxen's getting low. Oxen's getting pretty low on both ships, but mostly on theirs. Mine's actually going up now. Yeah, so he can't repair that and he'll just die as well. Nineteen scrap. I think I still just go up here. I might see a second store there. Or no. I might see a third store there. I guess I've already seen two stores in the sector. They only have bean drones here. They do have that rock, which is kind of a game. Yeah, he's going to be a problem for me, actually. I actually need to suffocate the ship then. Yeah, trying to actually uh, mind control them to death is not going to work since the solar third one actually be able to kill the last guy. Fire's in one of the empty rooms, but um, I can't tell which. Okay, good. Am I can control the right guy? I was actually pretty worried that actually might control the NG and just not accomplish anything with that. So he'll actually prioritize the auction once the auction's below 25%, though. So while they are still on fire over there, he's just prioritizing that, though. 
Won't make any difference since um, I can just mine control before we can actually repair it, though. Fire's in an empty room again. And there is actually another store up here. I go one, two, three. I think I do have time for that. Yeah, and I only have Nebula jumps over there, so I think I'm fine with this. The store of the ship, they're just pirates. I don't like the flak one, so I'm gonna take that down. Then I can just actually have them get mind control to death up there. The biggest trouble is the um I'll be mind controlling the human, then the rock actually has to go up there. I'd rather it was actually the other way around. It's a shot, but didn't take damage from that, so that's good. That could be worse. It's a shot again. Didn't take damage again, though. Missed a shot again. I think I get another shot off before they can fire again, though. Yeah, got it. Okay, the fire up there is actually good for me since, um, well, it does take out the flak again, but it actually draws both people up there. Okay, that's actually a problem now. Mind control him so he can't actually do stuff there. I don't want to mind control the pilot, because if I mind control the pilot, I can't have them fight each other inside the um, weapons room. Which means I can't keep the weapons down. My priority is not killing the ship quickly. My priority is not taking damage. While getting the bio kill, though. Alright, so the human should die in there, and the rock's gonna start taking suffocation damage pretty quick now. The fire's just draining oxygen out of there too fast. I didn't have the fire going at the time, like, before I actually hit the weapons. Like, once I hit the weapons, it didn't matter anymore. I didn't have the fire going, I assumed I wasn't going to get the fire going. So, um, that wasn't really relevant. Yeah, I did need the rock to take more damage, but it wasn't going to matter. Or at least it probably wasn't going to be a problem there, but then it actually was. So what I, what I was planning to happen there was um, damage the weapons once, like with my first volley there. That would have taken down the flax since it hadn't fired yet at that point. Then the human would have run up here, then just sitting in that room, um, once hacking came back up, I would actually um, depower it, mind control the um, guy in here, so the rock would actually come up there. I'd wait until they actually damaged each other as much as possible, um, like wait until mind control ended, then actually just start shooting them there until I could actually um, have the rock leave. Then um, then I just actually um, mind control the human again once the weapons were repaired at least one level. And that would actually maximize the damage the human would deal to the rock, and um, he'd get low enough in health. There's two really good weapons here. I can't afford both of them. I think the halberd is the better choice. I do already have the um, at least potential halberd or potential hacking to take down the weapon or um, shields for me. Yeah, I think that um, maximizing my chances of actually dealing the um, bio kill there um, involved not actually using my control there on the pilot. Alright, so I'm safe now. It'll actually take two more, two more volleys to kill the ship no matter what. I want another power bar, then actually I want to go for hacking up next, then I actually want to go for more power for my more, yeah, more power for my weapons there.
18 scrap, 9 more in a whole special laser mark 1, or mark 2. Nice. Yeah, I think um, once I got the fire, it didn't really matter anymore. Um, it would have actually been better to actually have mind control the pilot. But um, I only had a 15% chance to cause a fire, so that's not really something I wanted to rely on. You have gone Chain Laser Flak. That's definitely a good option because you can bring that entirely online faster, but um, the Haber is just such a more powerful weapon, though. Yeah, I'm set with weapons for the run now. I'll probably be going for hacking, then power, then um, weapons up twice, then power, then um, another weapon point, then, whole laser, then power for the whole laser. Thirteen scrap, another nebula jump. Back to the ship. Yeah, since I can't take damage here, I can kind of just mind control these guys to death. I did that just to actually hit the rock himself. Actually, better use the whole laser for this, though. Might get breaches. On the other hand, the um, power beam can't miss. But the whole, la the whole laser deals more damage and just actually... um. Yeah, it has that breach chance. Which isn't too important on this ship since they do have the um, plug repair gel. Got a fire. That actually dealt a lot of damage to that rock there, too. You should be able to get the fire out. I think they'll actually probably separate here before we can fire again. Yeah, my shots... Um, I could have fired the weapons, but they wouldn't have actually gotten there in time. So, hacking up. Mez controlled. So, in many ways, this is actually a retake of the um, Zolden Day run, though. Though I have had higher scraps so far. Scrap and power. Yeah, so now I go for weapons up a few times, though. Chip collectors, I'm not going to let them go, though. I don't see much reason to. I'm set for weapons already. They have 11 hole in the center, so I can't just actually one-shot them, though. This here is a 10 damage swipe, but um, yeah, that one actually one-shotted them. It would have still pulled the pilot off, though. Nineteen scrap. When it comes to score, do bio kills award more points? Um, slightly. Because um, scrap because scrap collected is actually counted for your score, and um, bio kills do average more um scrap rewards. It is slightly more, um, slightly more points. It's only like 5% more, though. It's not that significant. Back to the ship. Another two shield ship. Well, I actually didn't have to hack this one, did I? Well, it's probably still best to have done it, but, um, yeah, I don't actually have to have. I don't actually have to have hacked this one.
Yeah, it doesn't count double shift kills or anything like that. Alright, that'll keep the um Lumbe down pretty well. He'll probably actually run away from there again. Yeah, thought so. Four fuel, twenty eight scrap. I could actually hit the store and sell the chain laser. I don't think that's the right choice for me right now, but I don't... I could actually do that. Got the quest. Ah, my other guy died. Which is actually potentially a problem since I have a guy in the clone bay right now. Okay, didn't get punished for it. Yeah, missile went down there. Good. Point through scrap, um... I actually can't take that store now. I thought I would connect over here. I guess I'm not taking that store now. I thought I would be. They can't dodge these laser shots, they just die from that. I need more power. I can't upgrade right now. Now I go for one more point in weapons, then I actually go for power up for that, and then I can actually go for shields. Three shield ship, really? Huh. Or three um level auction ship, not three shields. I can still probably deal with this here, though. I will have to hit the weapons eventually, though, just to take that thing down. Whoops, I've got actually happy option now. Will they actually run him out of there to repair that? They might. Yeah, they will. Good. Now the priority on the auction system is higher, though, so um, the NG will actually just run over here as soon as I actually mind control this guy. Okay, never mind. He just died. I'm 
Minutes are under. I don't really need weapons on this, or I don't really need hacking on this fight. I think I'll save my drone. Yeah, three crew, I'll be damaging three if I put the halberd over there, so um, that should be good. Also, I was expecting to be able to mind control there, but I forgot they hacked that. Didn't matter, the ship died quickly anyway. Well, scrap and maxim. Nice. I'm no longer immune to mind control, but that's probably okay. It's 75 scrap and then power to get the whole laser online, though. Back the rebels. I'm mostly safe on this fight again. I'm not going to actually hack it either. I can take damage. Okay, I was hoping they'd actually have different timings there. So they got both a fire and a breach inside the pilot room there, so um, they won't actually have the breach fight the fire for them. We need to scrap and nothing else. Rebel control or civilian sector. I'm gonna actually take civilian sector, I think. I don't want to store right now. I could sell the chain laser, but that's all I can really do there. I could actually sell the chain laser and get the whole laser up right away. But again, I don't think I do that right now. This store up here, I'll probably actually take after I take a few more jumps, though. I need some fuel by that point. No strangers and slavers, um, bad stuff there. Bad weapons. Missile did not go down. Lauren is really good. Um, just having a shield guy is really good, and having a um, NG is really good. And civilian sectors are one of the better places to have an NG in, too, because they have just tons of blue options in here. Is civilian ship? Ah, bad weapons again. I could hack the weapons instead of the um, shields here, though. I think I'm going to do that, just to lay those. We got the weapon that's actually dangerous down, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that went smoothly. Three fuel, 24 scrap, two more fuel, and 26 more scrap. Nice. Well, I could get weapons for right now, but I'm actually saving my scrap for the store. Check their offer. That's a pretty nasty weapon setup again. They still only have two shields here, though, so I think I can still actually just afford to hack the weapons instead of the um, shields here. I actually let this thing fire first. Separate the timing a little bit. Thank you. 
Alright, 31 scrap. I can't take another jump before the store and get out of there safely, so I just have to take the store now. Alright, so there's cloaking and a fire beam here. I think I just sell the chain laser for the fire beam. I already have good stuff to support the fire beams. That's really, really nice for me. I'm going to actually get the... Um... No, I should go for mind control up now. I was thinking about getting the um, weapons up for the um, whole laser. So I can kill um, auto ships more easily. Which I actually might regret not doing since I do have a big nebula over here. M15 missiles, FTL jammer. It's not that important. And nothing in there. Crap. Back the pirate. This should be fine. Yeah, I can't take damage on the ship with two shields. The top priority here is actually the drones, because um, I really don't like that porting drone. They do have a rock over there, so I have to actually be, um, killing the auction now. The rock is now the only one who can actually try to fight fires. Only 17 scrap there. Four fuel was actually kind of tempting, though. I'm surprised he's not trying to go to the auction room yet, though. There he goes. I don't think he can go over there, break into there, and repair it before he dies, though. Three scrap and a map update. Nice. That shows me what's actually inside the nebula, which is mostly pretty good stuff, actually. I'll be taking basically all these um, guaranteed event nebula jumps. The fire beam doesn't really do too much for me here. Eighteen more scrap. Mind control for it that actually came back up. I actually could have, but I actually did it too slow. Well, that fire should actually finish them off already, though. This is dealing damage way too fast. Pretty sure that was a level 2 clone bay, though, so I have to actually kill that with, um, my full halberd. Uh, 
Okay, so I can now get the weapons of ones, and I think I just do that here. Actually, I'm going to buy the power bar first. That gives me another power bar for the um, ion storms. I have clone bay, so the piling blue option is not necessary here. Um, the clone bay, clone bay um, prevents the crew loss, which is the worst thing that can happen there. So 16, 17 power bars, so I need to depower 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Crew's on board. That's not too bad. Okay, another Iron Storm. Melee search. Lauren's gone, but I have clone base, so it comes back. And yeah, now I can actually get the weapons up and power for that. I'm gonna take this last non nebula jump up here, since the other two nebula jumps are actually not guaranteed events. There's probably nothing there as a result. Are the weapons not on fire? Yeah, the weapons somehow are not on fire. Crap. scrap. Yeah, a missile um, not going down, the weapon's not actually getting set on fire. They're actually um, causing me some trouble, though. Store. I have the FDL gem I can sell, but that's it. I don't think I do that right now. I should see another store later in the sector. A lot of weapons here, though. Most of their weapons are just ion centers, though. The energy's mind control, but he's no longer fighting in there. Crap. Yeah, I wanted him to actually keep fighting in there. It shouldn't make too much difference, though. I don't think the energy can actually fight the four tie fire there. Definitely not hundated. Yeah, he can't do anything there. And the clone bay is on fire. It was just taking a long time to go down. That means grabbing Zemu. Okay. Next, put Zemu on doors. And maximum go to some elsewhere. I can just actually take the store now. Fill the FTL jammer, I need some fuel and repairs. 
I can't really buy too much else useful here. Take a quest, which is right there. And it's another store, which I still don't really have any scrap for. There's nothing really good here, so I just skipped that, though. Yeah, so I hadn't actually needed that store that I hit, though. Another ship's data stores, 18 scrap and map update. Nice. Another store over the right, which um might actually be able to take later. That's a lot of weapons this time. And a spooky fight. Also, why do I have so much power? One of those extra power bars is for my weapons, but like, why do I have so much power overall? I didn't get the weapons on fire again. Made a point of getting three tiles hit there and just didn't get any fire set. Okay, well now there's definitely a fire in there. Hi Thunder, game's going pretty well. And that time I somehow got a four tile fire there. So we'll just, ah, weird fires from here. There's some scrap and give them nothing. Dread Pirate Tuco, who is not that dangerous this time. Crap. I thought that actually be fast enough. Take another damage from the next sum, hit from that. You have so many engines here. And the mind control's not really working that well. And cloaking disrupting my mind control is kind of sucking, too. Alright, that'll probably actually kill at least one of these guys. Now they're actually losing shields permanently. Yeah, they just lost most of their crew. That should be good enough now. Yeah, 4 NG crew is definitely kind of difficult to deal with. Alright, 5 fuel, 44 scrap. I'm still going to save my scrap for that store. But I kind of want to get shields up. I'd be a lot safer with the third shield bubble up.
Alright, 40 more scraps, so I can afford cloaking now. And I don't actually get another jump for the store here, so just take the store now. If there's no cloaking here, though, I'll probably just get the shields up. Or a pre-igniter. Pre-igniter's good. We're looking for rebels and can't find them. Mantis Homeworlds, that'll be pretty good with a fire beam. Nothing in there. Because of the um, solar flare here, though, I'm just going to be killing the ship. on board. That's not too bad. But there's a lot of them and they're in kind of bad places for me, actually. The mind control guy isn't really actually dealing with them that well, either. As a cleft click to be able to deal with him. Him, I can't actually get him though. Don't have any systems. Don't actually have the um, level two clone bay. They only have the one Mantis left, who will probably die on the way actually over to the clone bay. Alright, so 53 scrap, um, shield up now. Another solo flare. Crap. Oh, the fire's inside the um, med bay, or mind control room. I thought it'd be in an empty room someplace. What I want to grab in a heavy laser mark one. That's a pretty good weapon, too. Another hazard beacon. Crap.
Alright, 45 scrap. Hi, TOV. The distress beacon, then store. Data destination, 20 scrap in quest in next sector. Good. Okay, so I'll be selling the whole laser here. A couple fuel, a few drum parts. Repairs. I'm actually going to buy sensors here so you can actually see the enemy ship and just I'll just get it upgraded too. Let's we see how fires are burning. Nothing in there. I think for 11, that's actually a good deal, so I'm going to take that here. I do kind of need hacking up pretty soon, though. I'm going to take Civilian Center over um, Engine Controlled here, because the Angies are better at fighting fires. I'm going to swap the Heavy Laser Ends for the Halberd. It's a little faster, and I can actually use that to take down Shield if I actually encounter a Forge Shield Chip right now. Graph upgrade, that's nice to have, not too important though. By the ship, this should be fine. I need that drone down. That should keep the medbay down now, and that should actually kill them all. Yep, they can't actually repair the ocean anymore. Or the drones, or anything else. Alright, 50 scrap. Hacking up once now. Fire beam, show these show these foolish pirates how they're supposed to actually intimidate settlers. Like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, see how grateful the settlers were? 66 scrap and a repair drone. So, speaking of repair drones, sell that. I only actually need three fuel there. I'd like to save scrap for cloaking at this point, though, but I've already seen two stores in the center, so there actually might not be another one. And four shield chests with actually pretty dangerous weapons are kind of bad. Yeah, take some damage from the blade.
Didn't actually heal the energy there. Crap. Need to land more shots than that. I'm having trouble taking down the medbay there. If the glaive is the only weapon up, it's not a threat. It's you, Jared. All right, the energy should die in there. He can't repair that now. The energy didn't die in there. Crap. Uh, so I'll actually take the Mantis here. Let's me deal with Warders more easily. Ward Investigate, Lombard, okay. Oh hey, another store, nice. So Distress Beacon, then store though. This is Mental State, and I get Oni, who is not very useful. So unfortunately I had nothing to sell, so I can't afford cloaking now. Do I even hit the store? I don't think I actually do. That is unfortunate, though. XCOM? Okay. That can go on the list of um, possibilities. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I've actually met the sub goal because I actually thought I would actually not be um, going there. Hand of Fate? I'm not sure if I've actually heard of those. Oh, I didn't have my weapons up. Whoops. That was dumb. Okay, it doesn't actually matter here. Yeah, so I intend to actually run the 24-hour stream um, next Wednesday, though, so um, I'll be collecting more um, suggestions over the next week or so. And as time gets closer, I'll actually um, look at ones that I actually might be interested in playing that actually see if actually other people are interested in actually seeing them played. Still running away. Crap. FTL beats Batman Arkham style combat meets deck builder. Huh. I haven't actually played the Arkham games, but, um, so I'm not completely familiar with those. I think I've seen them play the GDQs, but, um, I think that's all I've actually seen for them. 24 scrap, and ends up one more time. I could take missiles here, but I don't really see much reason to. Then again, there's not very much reason not to either. I might get a um, cell um, missile event, or two. I'd actually have to get two of them. All right, well, last stand.
Left to right store. Wish I had enough scrap for cloaking now. Yeah, so don't have enough scrap for cloaking, don't really want to backtrack that much for the store. Alright, that should be good. Not as much fire inside the medbay as I wanted there, but that should still be okay. more scrap, so can I actually get the weapons twice more? Maybe. It would be nice to have the halberd up with everything else here. Yeah, so I need weapons up actually twice more than actually um three more power bars, though, to get everything up. It's pretty expensive. Missile's not down. And took a couple more hits from that. Crap. I can take one more jump and maybe get the weapons up after this, though. Nope. Well, I'll actually go for a weapons buffer and option buffer here. I'm gonna go for another power bar because after phase one, I'll stop actually using the fire beam. Engine's hack is a little bad here, but not too terrible. Should be manageable. Not a very good fire there. If it weren't for the mind control guy, nobody would die from that. Bad fire in the um, weapons room there, but at least I got the good fire inside the shields room. So, one guy left, took a bunch of damage on that fight. It should be fine, though. Get a clone buffer now, I think.
Nice breeze inside the um, missile room there. I should keep that down for the rest of the rest of the fight. He'll actually mostly be preoccupied with trying to repair these shields, though. I think. All right, 21 scrap. Separate those two, separate those two. Black sensors since I can. I should be fine with this fight. I'll be taking a bunch more damage on this fight, I think, but yeah, I should be fine here still. I was hacking out at level three. Yeah, I would have done better with this fight if I hadn't screwed up and actually had only level 2 hacking up. I thought it I thought I actually had um all the power assigned to that. Okay, I thought that might be the shield overcharge. Yeah, so it took actually quite a bit of damage out of the flagship fight there, but that's because I didn't have shields. But the woolly boss was able to win. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Slug to see though is a pretty strong ship, so I'm not really that surprised I won that. But yeah, not finding cloaking at all. Um, I probably could have gotten cloaking in either of those last two stores, <laughs> but I just had spent actually all my scrap for them because I hadn't expected to see them. So that was a little bad. But no, it worked out okay. But yeah, um, I think buying the halberd early on was actually the right choice there. Um, yeah, I could have bought a flak instead. But yeah, otherwise, not really that important though. So anyway, yeah, pretty good run though. I think I have time for one more today, though. I'm going to have to actually end the run um, or end the stream a little earlier than I kind of like to, though. But um, I actually have to um, go grocery shopping this evening, so um, yeah, I need to do that before um, before it gets completely dark, which probably will in another two hours or so. So that'll be a thing. So anyway, yeah, I think I have time for one more run today, though. Um, but then I'm going to actually have to get going, though. So anyway, score for this one. Um, I'm just going to actually say 5600 again. I've actually won every single time with that so far, so maybe I'll get it again. Other people have actually guessed closer to that this time, though, so probably not. <laughs> anyway, get your own score guess in chat if you haven't already, though. Um, we'll see what the score is, so you can ship this, we'll take a short break, and come back and do one more run today, though, I think. So with that, I think we'll close the score guesses. It'll be a total of 5,050. No one actually guessed low enough that time. That's actually a really, really, low, really, really low score. Huh. I'm surprised by that. 1507 scrap collected. I would not have called that. 42 Sisters defeated is pretty average. 100 Hugh Beacon Sport is actually a little high, but yeah, only 1507 scrap collected. That's really, really low. Huh. I didn't think I didn't feel like my ship was actually weak at the end. Okay, so Slug be only next. Um if I do die early on, I'll actually do another one after this, but um if I get past about sector three or four though, I'll actually probably um 
Probably call the stream after this one, though. Anyway, um, so suggesting a trip while I'm taking a short break, though. I'll be right back, and excuse me, please, though. <laughs> 